Hey girls, it's Friday. Okay, so this week's, uh, what is it? This week's theme is, uh, like superlatives kind of, like, or gag awards, I guess. I don't know, schools call them different things. But, because I don't have too much time, because I'm going to see Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist tonight, and I'm so excited, oh my god. But that wasn't what I was talking about. Okay, back on topic. Superlatives. Okay, so I haven't really um, put too much thought into this before, though I'm not sure why. I should have, but I, I didn't. So, um, I'm just going to go through all the Collins and Bella. So Bella would definitely win most clumsy, because, I mean, she's Bella. Edward would totally win best hair, I think. Um, Alice would win, like, cutest or most fashion forward or n most I don't know she would you know she would win like one of those Alice-y things like fashion or whatever Rosalie would probably win like depends on how schools do it because like my school people kind of make up the awards I think that's how they do it anyway I don't even know but Rosalie would totally win like hottest and Rosalie and Emmett would win like best couple or something only because and they'd totally be like like prom king queen or something disgusting. Um, Jasper would probably win like most moody. I don't even know. Do they, like, I don't know what award he would win. He's kind of just like Esme. If she went to high school, would be like future homemaker or something. Cause she's so like adorable with her little like house restoring and stuff. She's so funny. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's probably some, she would win something like that. And Carlisle would win just like best person on the face of the earth ever or something. My challenge for whoever I pick when I go to get my bag full of names. The person, my glasses are very dirty. The person that I pick is going to have to take all of the Cullens and Bella and possibly Jacob too. It depends. You don't have to do all of them, but I want at least five, I'm gonna say. Um, you need to, uh, what do you need to, you need to tell me what Pokemon each of them would be, if they were a Pokemon. And if you don't, now this is where it, it varies a little, if you don't really know anything about Pokemon, you can kind of just go by appearance of Pokemon. If you go on the Pokemon website, it's like, Google it, um, they have a Pokédex, I believe, on there, and you can scroll through all the Pokémon, like, whatever. Just pick some that you think work with any of the Cullens, or Bella, or Jacob, or really, I'm just gonna broaden that and say any character from Twilight, and I want you to tell me what Pokémon they'd be and why. So if you don't know anything, just be like, because it looks like them. But if you do know something about Pokémon, and I want you to be honest, you need to tell me what kind of, like, like, based on... Pokemon abilities. I want you to tell me why this Cullen is at Pokemon based on the powers that the Pokemon has. You can go by appearance too, you can do either one, or why any character. It's just, you know, whoever. But I want this. And um, to make it something that's a little more possibly embarrassing or something you actually have to do, I want you to be dressed like one of those Pokemon. I would prefer that you pick the most out there or the most embarrassing, but you can really do your favorite Pokemon. I, you need to dress like that Pokemon in your video. And I'm really excited about that. I am not gonna lie. Uh, let's see if I can do this without spilling all of the names again because uh, that's what I just did. The girl that has to do my Pokemon challenge is... Have fun! I feel like you probably know something about Pokemon. You strike me as someone that would have some knowledge of Pokemon. If I'm wrong, then I mean you'll just go by a Pokemon appearance. But you need to be dressed like a Pokemon. Any Pokemon you want. Doesn't really matter. And you need to tell me why at least five Twilight characters would be the Pokemon. I mean, if you've got some free time and you want to do some spiffy photoshopping of faces onto Pokemon and such, go for it. My friend is Facebook I am in me and I'm making a video. This is not acceptable. Okay. I've been going for like eight minutes now. Probably four minutes maybe are usable. But um whatever. Oh my gosh, wait, I need to show you guys what I got. 
I got two really fantastic things in the mail. Actually, it's technically three because um, one of them came with like two things. You ready? So first, and less fantastic than the second thing, but still pretty fantastic, got the Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist CD, and they sent me a free t-shirt with it too for like one of the bands that's in the movie, so excited about that. And then this, now this may just look like a bluish box to you, but when you open it up, take out all the paper that's on top, it is a kit to build your own ukulele. I'm building a ukulele. It involves like, it's, it's, this is like intense, this kit right here. You need to like sandpaper stuff and like, apparently you need to like saw something, I don't know, but there is like, like staining the wood and just I, wood glue and screws and things and I am building one because over the summer when I was going on vacation I asked my mom to buy me a case for my ukulele because I needed to like I wanted to bring it with me and I accidentally told her that it was the wrong kind like see this this is a concert ukulele and I told my mom it was a soprano ukulele because I wasn't paying attention and I thought it was and I was stupid so now I have this really intense case for a soprano ukulele but no soprano ukulele so uh, I'm building one and I got a capo for my guitar um, the other day too so I can play more songs yay not that I actually think I've ever played guitar on this channel before because I really am teaching myself how and I'm not so good but yeah Okay, I'm going to go, um, so I will see you guys next week.